Like that. Um, yeah, I really suck in 2K, but when you start off a Thanks. game like that, it's an amazing feeling. You just take that confidence through the rest of the game and feel like you can't miss. Hey, Landers, ever since you started the Houston game, you've just been on a tear. Did you contribute that to your hairstyle or just <laughs> man. completely, completely healthy, man? <laughs> It's wild. Can you ask the question again? <laughs> You've been doing pretty well since you started Houston game. Uh, what, what you contribute that to, you know, being in such a zone these last three weeks? I just contributed to my teammates. I mean, when they see me make a couple of shots, they try to trying to find me to keep me going. Even if it costs us a couple of turnovers, they trying to find me no matter what. So I just contribute that to my players. College basketball player March is the most important important month of the year, and here you guys, after your February successes, <clears throat> kind of flipped over to it. Coach mentioned you control your own destiny. How good does it feel knowing that you don't need anybody to do anything for you? Unlike maybe last year, this year you guys just keep winning. You're going to make the NCAA tournament. I feel like this year we are in control of our own destiny. So if we lose, we know it's on us, and when we win, we know it's for the better cause of going to the tournament. So this year and last year is big. It's really different because we know if we went out, we go into the tournament. But we know if we lose, it's, it was on us. I kind of feel like the same thing he said. We kind of ride our own destiny. But at the same time, we're not focusing on looking at all this stuff to where it's like we're depending on somebody to lose. We're kind of just depending on us to win everything. So if we win our games out and win the games we're supposed to win, it shouldn't be nothing to worry about. Lester, is there something in particular about this matchup against Wichita State that just kind of just brings out the best of you, best um, of you all? Excuse me. Not really. I kind of just go out there to play every game. But like I told them in there, uh, before coming into this game today, coach kind of showed us before the game this kind of article where it was like they said they didn't like how we celebrated or whatever on their floor. And they were going to kind of come in today's game to try to beat us or trying to get it out of us. And we kind of took that personal. Yeah, like he said, they're going to try to try to come out and punk us first and stuff like that. So we tried to come out the gate and just cut their water off and give them nothing and kind of just take them out of everything and show them, like, and nothing that they could do could really stop us for real. Bro, they got soccer on the TV. Hey, Lester. Um, <laughs> hey, Lester, there's only two games left in the season. You got Houston the last game of the season, but you got South Florida. South Florida just beat Cincinnati. How do you not try to overlook that game to get to the final game of the season? Uh, I mean, it's kind of the same thing with today's game. We didn't want to look overlook today's game, but going into South Florida with it being a road game, and I don't think we played them this year yet, so it's kind of just going to be our first time seeing each other. We just really need to lock in and come out the gate like we've been coming out these past couple games and kind of how we've been doing on the road. I feel like as a group and as a team, we've kind of been getting to some hot starts on the road and in those games kind of just try to take the crowd out of the game so they won't get involved. That's kind of along the same lines of what I was going to ask. Have you guys found your killer instinct? Like today, mm -hmm. I mean, you guys have talked about it all year. You build like a five-point lead. You want to push to 10, push to 15, push to 20. And today was like a perfect shining example of that. So do you feel like you've found that, that the key to that uh, concept? Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like kind of just, I would call it kind of our flow and our rhythm just out there as a group and as a team. I feel like our first groups and our second groups and the groups that we've come, like, that come in the game and stuff, they're kind of set now at this point in the season. It's late. So it's not going to be a lot of lineup changes or who you're in the game with. So the guys that are in the five that's on the floor, we're kind of starting to get a little bit more comfortable with each other. And everybody's knowing their strengths and weaknesses on defense. And that's where I feel like we're kind of just locking in more on going into March, on just really everybody just being comfortable and knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses. Again, to both of you, Landers, yeah, to start yeah. with you, everything that this team has gone through this year to be peaking at the right time, but as I mentioned, playing in March as a college basketball player is what it's all about. How exciting is it for you guys to maybe even play your best basketball when it matters most? Uh, it's an amazing feeling because, I mean, once you get to this point, you know it's either win or go home. So you're kind of going to get a game <clears throat> or a glimpse or a full game of what you just saw for a whole game, a whole 40 minutes, that's just our main focus. But to be in this situation and finally get a chance to go dancing, I mean, you can't be nothing but happy. Yeah, uh, 
just kind of going into that, what he said, we do need to play our best basketball going into March because after these next three games, it's win or go home. So we need everybody on the same page, everybody locked in, and kind of just really like going into the last question. Everybody just knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses and knowing that he's going to do this and he's going to do that. Along those lines, Lester, when you're in a game, when the stress is high, the stakes are high, when Landers is hitting like he is at the beginning of, of today's game, what does that do for everyone else? I mean, when you're hitting like that, I mean, first of all, it's crazy coming out five for five, not missing a single shot. I feel like if any of us do that, it's, we just got to get him the ball. But it kind of brings the team up more with just, okay, Landers got going. We got a big lead. Now it's like, okay, we're going to start to see the reads and the looks to where it's like now they're going to lock in on him. Now somebody else is going to get this or someone else is going to get going. And I feel like that's what the best thing about this team is. It's like every single night we don't just have one guy who could just carry us to the win or one guy who's supposed to get off. It's whoever's night it is, is going to happen, and tonight was his night. Landers, how do you do that over and over again here for the next five, six games, seven games, however long this season is? I just got to keep trusting him to find me. I mean, I don't do nothing special but run up and down the court, set my feet, and hold my follow through. So if they find me and trust me, I'm going to come through every time. Hey, Landers, is this your last few games playing in the Tigers uniform? Have you had time to sit back and just reflect on what's going on? And also, <laughs> and also to, you know, to make sure you give 100% going forward, man? Man, I'm not going to lie. I just want to go to the tournament. I'm not focused on nothing else about how many games I got left. I just want to go to the tournament. Win the tournament.